the great egret. These striking white birds can often be seen fishing and flying around Will County, but it wasn't always that way. In fact, they were nearly hunted to extinction in the late 19th century because they were sought after for their pristine white plumes, which were high in demand in the fashion world. There was such a demand that feathers were worth up to $30 an ounce, more than twice the price of gold at the time. Today, these birds serve as a conservation success story. Hunting and trade regulations brought about by conservationists in the early 1900s helped their population rebound, and it's now considered stable. Watching these birds on local waterways can be peaceful and mesmerizing. It's common to see them hanging out on the water's edge, soaking in the scenery, or preening their feathers. While standing still, they keep their necks tucked close to their bodies. But while walking, or when they see something that grabs their attention, great egrets extend their necks, giving themselves a better bird's eye view of what lies ahead. Much like the great blue herons, egrets slowly and patiently stalk their prey in shallow water, then use their razor-sharp bills as a spear. That prey mainly consists of fish, but can also include amphibians, reptiles, birds, small mammals, and crustaceans. These birds are hard to miss considering they stand more than three feet tall. In flight, they have a wingspan of nearly five feet and need only two wing beats per second to cruise at 25 miles per hour. The next time you see a great egret, take a moment to enjoy its raw beauty and be thankful that enough people cared more than 100 years ago to take action and save them.